to another vlog today. I feel like you can tell by my look. We are off into the countryside. I am definitely going to be that person that turns up the like eye roll, a city slicker, trying to look like she belongs in the country. Although my dad actually lives in the countryside, so I kind of actually am a bit of a country bumpkin. But yes, I have gone full, kind of, I don't know, Ralph Lauren-esque, very countryside vibes. So yeah, we are basically heading to Glencoe to a little, to a little lodge, a lodge park really. I've never been, but it was a really lovely gift for Jack's 30th from his sister. So we are heading away. It's about a two hour drive. So I've actually not fully done my makeup, which is why I'm maybe not quite ready to go, but we're just going to get in the car. I'll finish getting ready in the car, but I wanted to show you my outfit because I'm not sure if there'll be a good mirror to show you my look today. I want to show my boots as well. <laughs> I'll maybe get a haul shot, but yes, I, I, I kind of feel a cross between I'm going on safari versus I'm going horseback riding or something like that. But yes, this is our countryside, Scottish Highlands kind of vlog. Just a very quick shot to show you my look put together. Please ignore the bags behind me. But yes, here we go. We are on the road and we're just coming up to, I think what is like the start of Glencoe. So I thought I'd switch the view around just to show you. minutes and then we'll be there. Yes, I mean the scenery looks absolutely incredible. So we've just done a first wee stop at this kind of viewpoint. I'm not sure whether this is the, the first kind of one going into Glencoe. We've just done a wee stop. Sorry, the road is quite noisy beside me. I actually feel a bit like a sort of news reporter or something. But I'm going to flip the camera around because just look at this incredible view. It is absolutely stunning. It's so atmospheric. I actually like the fact that it's not like the brightest day it's actually a bit dull but it kind of is making it that moody sort of vibe but yeah i do feel like some of the cars are probably looking at me like look at that silly idiot like i'm in like high-heeled boots you know my <laughs> idea of a, a country outfit which you know it's it's very i feel like Ralph Lauren vibes but it's not probably what like the actual you know it's not practical country wear but yes i'll just flip you around absolutely incredible so I think we're just going to head straight to the lodges now and I'll catch up with you once we're there. So we've just got here. Jack's just checking us in. I'm outside with Teddy Bear. I think he's a bit unsure about what's happening. And he's feeling sad because his dad's inside. But I wanted to just show you, I've actually seen our names. Here we go, Leslie Lodge 12. So, so that's where we're heading off to. I think Jack's just going to collect the keys. And then we'll go over. I'll... Okay, so here we are. I'm going to show you our wee home for the night. So that's us over there. I'm going to show you Teddy's just getting himself all sorted as well, finding his bearings. So I thought I would just walk you along. Come on, Teddy. So this is the Riverbed Luxury Lodge. So this wee pod is ours for tonight. Come on, Teddy. And then I'm going to show you the best parts. So over here is the hot tub and then we've got a lovely river view down here i mean oh that's just so serene i will say it is freezing so ah, we are gonna have to wrap up warm or oh gosh teddy's looking a bit unsure it's the decking he's not so used to decking oh come on teddy you're all right and then around here you've got a wee set of table and chairs hopefully we can sit there for a wee bit if we get all wrapped up and then the river Beautiful. And this is inside. So you've got your bed there. You've got a few wee bits and bobs in there. And thank you so much, Katie, to Jack's sister. She had organized for us to have some champagne. And we've also got the nice robes for the hot tub. So yeah, I am so excited. I feel like this is just such a cute wee setup. I'm really excited to go for the hot tub. And I think at the minute we're gonna have a wee cup of tea, just warm up because it has been quite cold. Yeah, and just get settled in and then we're definitely going to get the fire on. <laughs> There's a jack outside. Get the fire on and get in the hot tub. Okay, so we're just about to go into the hot tub. My goodness, I'm a bit nervous because it's actually really cold and yeah, I've just obviously got my wee cosy on underneath. I've gone for a red lip just quickly because, you know, my swimming costume is red. Feeling a little bit like special K, but 
got the champagne just over here, so I'm gonna grab that and carry it out. Oh, gosh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna see if I can just take you out with me. Right, here we go. Oh my goodness, it's freezing. Ah, okay, here we go. I'm in the hot tub, it is absolutely amazing. This is such a serene setting. We've got the bottle of champs just there. Jack's actually been very kind and jumped back in to see if he could find me a hair bubble because the hair is beginning to really annoy me. But apart from that, everything is just perfect. Although, I'm not sure, oh gosh, the red lips have gone everywhere. I'm gonna just show you the surroundings. So this is where we are. See, just being kind of underneath the trees. It is actually raining a wee bit, but we're not getting too much just because it's coming through. Cheers. Mm. Gorgeous. I mean, this is not my best look, but do you know what, it is actually amazing the hot tub because the trees are kind of covering it. You're only getting like a tiny bit wet. We've actually pulled over the lid of the hot tub, over the table, so we've kind of got like a little cover over us. But what an amazing experience, like honestly. I just, I actually can't leave the weather to be fair. I mean, it is, it's obviously Scotland and tomorrow is 100% rain. I, to, I actually wanted to just show you the level of rain. Like I'm hoping you'll be able to hear that. So Teddy and I are having a wee cuddle. We're kind of, we are sort of half in, half outside. Unfortunately, the weather is just the same, but we've got the fire pit going. We'd finished the champagne in the hot tub, so yeah, moved on to a wee rosy. Teddy absolutely hates the rain, so he's kind of just sat here with me. So we're gonna do a wee bit of cooking. It is completely the wrong weather. You can't really see that well, to be fair, but in fact, you can't see anything at all. <laughs> Let me see if I can put the flash on. So we update on the barbecue. I'll, I'll step out. See, things looking a bit better over here. <laughs> Morning. Please excuse me. I've just got up. I wanted to show you what has just arrived for us. You can hear the river. It's, do you know what? This is lovely. Waking up, hearing the river. It's so peaceful. So this is our wee breakfast basket that's just arrived. Let me just unzip it to show you what's in there. So you've got some croissants, some bread. Like how cute! So yes, I think we shall have our wee breakfast now. Morning again. So we've actually just got to our next kind of destination. I can't remember if I've already mentioned this in this vlog, but we are really near the Glenfinnan Viaduct. And I convinced Jack that we should go along to see it and hopefully catch the train going across it. I did, I slightly rounded down the time of how far away it was because I didn't want Jack to say no. And we have ended up with a wee bit stressed that we're going to miss the train because we've got here, it is busy. Then you obviously got to pay for parking and there's a queue for the parking meter. So we are just at the base of it. So I'll show you just as we start walking up and hopefully we're going to catch the train. So obviously I'll do my best to film whatever we can. Teddy's getting a wee bit anxious because he's waiting. Where are you Teddy? I think. <laughs> because he's waiting on his dad, but there's Jack coming. So ah, here we go. There it is. Doesn't look amazing. We're going to try and keep walking a wee bit further because I know there's a viewpoint. I think it's kind of more behind it, but yeah, we'll see. We'll keep walking for just now, but this is the kind of wider shot, I guess. We're getting a bit closer now. Ah, sorry about the wobbly camera footage. Teddy is really racing on. So we're at the top, it's so busy, I'm going to show you. Obviously everyone's here with their cameras, the tripods, lots of families. So the train I think is going to come in about five minutes. Yeah, I can't actually wait. It's, it's such a special location, honestly. It just feels like we're in a movie set ourselves. We can hear in the distance the train, so I'm gonna just start filming any minute now.
we're just on our way back down now. That was just, it was incredible. Like, I don't know how I feel emotional. Like, this is so silly. But just seeing everyone wave, I'm not sure whether you were able to see that in the video or not, but I was like looking over my phone rather than, you know, looking through it. So I don't really know what I filmed, but everyone was waving and it just, it was just a really nice moment. So if you do ever get the chance to come to the sort of Glencoe area, which is where we were, or Fort William, it's really not far to go along. So yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you don't think I'm like sad for getting emotional. I think it was just seeing everyone wave. So. <laughs> anyway, we're heading back to the car park now and then we're just going to drive back. So I think to be honest, this is going to be the end of the vlog. I'll show you a little bit more of the scenery because it is, even just around here, it's just absolutely stunning. So this is us on the wee road back. So this is the wee path that we're just walking back past. You can see the viaduct is over there. So do you know, I think this is an opportune moment to finish the vlog. You can see the viaduct behind me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a wee bit different. Let me know what you thought and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at seven o'clock. Lots of love, bye.